Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle and I'm so excited. Look who I have, the new winter edition holiday, get it? Ho holiday instead of holiday. Draculaura doll, like this is gonna be available I guess for pre-order for $40 at Walmart and then I think in Canada it's gonna be $60. So honestly, holding in so much emotion right now because I am so excited. I grew up loving holiday Barbies, obviously throughout the 80s, 90s, into the 2000s and to now. And it is so cool to see a different line from Mattel show off a holiday doll. Cause I feel like it's always Barbie. I feel like Barbie always has a holiday doll or sometimes you do see the Disney princesses of course do holiday dolls too, but not, not as much as like, you know, like when you think of holiday dolls, I always think of Barbie. I don't know, it could just be me because obviously I grew up with Barbies. So I'm really excited that Monster High is doing something a little different, giving us a little new flavor of a holiday themed doll. So in the box, it has the logo here in the middle, which I personally don't like. I think the logo should have been right here because I feel like it cuts her outfit in half. Does that look weird to anybody else? Do we think this looks weird? I think this looks weird. I would have rather had the holiday logo here so that you can show off the doll better. There is snowflakes all around. As you can see, you look at the little snowflakes. Um, we're gonna obviously take the doll out of the box. So we'll check the hair out closer detail here in a second. So on the side, it has more snowflakes, spiderwebs going down the side. And then the back, we have images of her. Now this is a G1 molding to the doll versus the G3 stuff. Um, honestly, I, I think she's so beautiful. Like, uh, I, I can't even describe it to you. I'm just so excited. Cause when I saw they were doing like a holiday themed doll, I was like, are you serious? Like what? Hello. <laughs> I love that what they did on the back. The box is really good. If you are an inbox collector, it is a rectangle simple shape. So it's easy to stack up if you have a whole wall of dolls. I'm honestly like, again, I know I just sound like all over the place. I'm just so excited about this doll. I think it's just so beautiful. I love the whole little theme to it. I love the colors to it. I love that there's little skelettes in the snowflake right here. It does say winter edition down at the bottom. Just, I don't know. Again, I cannot emphasize enough how much I'm feeling this doll right now. It's so pretty in box. It's just that logo. Why did they do it so high? Hmm. I wonder why they did that so high. It is bothering me a lot. And I just love how she's like walking off on this side and looking straight off on this side. She's really pretty, but I know we want to see it. We want to see it out of the box. Ooh. And also let me, let me do the back here. It says seasons screamings, screamings, Draculaura. <laughs> is that what her name is? Season screamings. Hmm. That's weird. It says holidays sponsor I put on the back it says season screaming Draculaura and that's a trademark is ready for a fabulous fabulous holiday season dressed in her glittery gown with spiderweb details and a sheer coat with sparkling snowflake bats all over it that is how I want to celebrate my holidays and it says winter themed accessories including candy cane gloves ornament earrings complete with her fantastic look and may your ho holidays be a scary delight I'm kind of shocked it didn't come with a Christmas ornament though or like a holiday ornament or a snowflake ornament. I mean, it doesn't have to be Christmas, but like a holiday themed thing. Cause I feel like most holiday dolls have always come with ornaments. I don't know. Again, I thought that would have been really cool to do like a little spider web snowflake or like a skelet snowflake or something over to the side. So I'm surprised they didn't do that honestly, but I'm still living for her. All right, enough chit chat of her out of the box or in the box. Let's go out of the box now. And out of the box she is. So let's start off with, she does come with really nice paper too. It's not like a thin sheet of paper. It's like an embossed paper. Comes with a authenticity here, certificate of authenticity. And it says obviously winter edition, holiday monster high doll on there. And it says this certifies the Joe monster high holiday winter edition doll to realize through the collaborative efforts of designers at an artist at Mattel. <sighs> okay. Lots of reading. All right. So she doesn't come with a brush first off, which mm, I mean for a $40 price point slash $60 price point Canada. Um, I'm surprised that she kind of doesn't, but the packaging is so cute and the theme is so cute. I can kind of see maybe why they figure it's a collector doll. They figure probably a lot of people won't take this out of the box maybe. So they don't really need a brush. It does come with a stand, which is the traditional, as you can see here, monster high style stand. Do you see the little monster high stand? And it does have here. Let me take it off so we can take a closer look at the base. Oh, just flicked her hair everywhere. So it does say Monster High, as you can see here. Hello, camera focus. I know there's so much going on behind me. We have like, the, we have our background for like the doll awards we're filming. It's just so much, right? All right, camera focus. All right, Monster High here on the stand. It is a traditional style Monster High stand with glitter mixed into it there, which normally we used to have just the solid black stands for Monster High. So I'm glad that they did something a little 
glittery holiday themed, I guess. All right, we're gonna start off with the hair. Now, mixed emotions with the hair. <laughs> mixed emotions. So I love, it is very, very nice quality. We got some good length here. We got some inches. It does go to her knee. Now it does have the very icy pink. I love that with the black. Now there is, is there tinsel? There is tinsel in the hair. I don't know how I feel about that. I know a lot of people who restyle hair doesn't like the tinsel. So there is some tinsel in there. It's not a lot. And honestly, you could take it out if you don't like it, but there is a little bit of that. And in box, it looks good because from far away, she has a little bit of that sparkle. So that I don't mind it in box. Out of box, I'm like me, I'm kind of torn with the, the tinsel. Like sometimes, sometimes I love it and sometimes I don't. I feel like mermaid dolls, it looks cute, but I don't know. So that's the little tinsel moment in the hair. Now, we have mixed emotions. Let me get this all close so we can take a close look with the bangs. Um, <laughs> we're sisters. Uh, I don't, I get what they're trying to do. They wanted to give us candy cane because if you look at her gloves, we have candy cane. So I'm getting that. I would have liked it maybe, I don't know, up here at the top, but not in the bang possibly is I, again, I'm, I'm so torn. It's like, I like it, but there's something about it kind of like it's, if Dr. Seuss was in Monster High, maybe this is what it would be doing. I don't know. But I've heard more comments from the public of negative versus positive over it. Again, it might change as we get the doll out there and people start seeing it closer up. But yeah, I'm not, I'm personally kind of 50-50 eh, with the ch chunky, I don't even know how to describe it, striped bangs. Okay, we're gonna go striped bangs. In the back here with the highlights, I love. But in the front, I'm kind of torn. Now the makeup, beautiful. I mean, I really think it gives us just everything. Draculaura, I mean, these earrings are these beautiful ornament earrings on there with little bats. Like, I'm loving the ornaments. Of course, we have her heart on there. We have her little things on her lips. And then going into this dress, this jacket is a separate piece and is so beautiful. I really do like the little striping here, giving me a Beetlejuice vibe. A lot of detailing into this, the cobwebs, the belt, the, I love how high this is here. And this is a plastic piece, not a metal piece, but plastic, but a plastic upper piece. I think she's beautiful. I really do. I think this is so, I wanna wear this outfit out. Um, I'm gonna be transparent. The outfit is a little thin. It's a little thin, <laughs> but I really feel like more people would keep this doll in box just because I think she is very beautiful in box. Uh, and I personally, like I said, I'm trying to transition back to being an inbox collector with some of these dolls because the art is so beautiful. So moving her hair out of the way, we have this beautiful, it's a jacket, but it looks like a cape and there's snowflakes all in the back of this, but there's little bats. Can you see those very tiny, tiny little bats in the snowflake that I love. If anyone finds this fabric out of Joann's, message me immediately, because I need it. And the bottom has cuts to it, kind of bat-like. I would have liked to have at least one more layer. I feel like one layer is a little thin, but overall still beautiful though. I'm still, I don't know what it is. I just love holiday dolls. And I, it's like, for me, you never see goth holiday dolls. So this is just something, it's like feeding my two things. It's like, I don't, I don't dislike the holiday season. I just prefer ha Halloween, obviously over Christmas and like the Christmas, winter solstice seasons. But if when you mix the two together, I'm living, <laughs> I'm living. So her boots in the front are a little basic. All right, at first I was kind of like, oh, they just gave her a little boot that kind of looks like the stand. But when you flip it over, look at that. Oh, I love the little heart design back there, snowflake. I can see Hexion painting this. I feel like he would do a great job painting these. I just don't, I feel like they're a little, I, I would have liked them to have a little bit of paint on the back. A little bit, just a little, a little bit of paint, not a lot, you know, just a little detail on the back there. And then the one thing I do really love, if you look at her hand, these are separate gloves. So if you don't like the candy cane look and you want to maybe reroute her hair, you can definitely take her gloves off because they are separate and look, they go into her finger. There's a little loop that goes into her finger. I love that detail. That's really nice. I like that they gave us that little bit of extra. And then, oh, I forgot to show you the headpiece. Let's zoom in here. It's a little like, it looks like a crown, but it's like a goth snowflake crown living for it. I think it is so cute. Her hair, like I said, is very, very soft. I do like the overall theme style to it and like i said this jacket does come off so if you don't like the jacket or the belt you can remove all the pieces separately so it's gloves belt upper choker piece um and then the jacket so then she just has basically a tiny little like spider cocktail dress and then it, this part doesn't look as like holiday like 
I don't know. I For $40, if you find her on the pre-order or if you get her randomly in a store, because I feel like they will be showing up in Walmarts eventually going into the holiday season. Um, if you look at Barbie, for example, Barbie's $40 for the Christmas Barbie. And if I had to compare the two, this so much more elevated than the Christmas Barbie. I can't say anything because I did get the Christmas Barbie this year, but <laughs> it sucked me in, okay? I'm back into buying my holiday Barbies. But this one just, I feel like has so much more, um, especially like, you know, like I said, the stand, obviously giving us the traditional Monster High. And if we, you know, if anybody out there likes the older style of Monster High vibe, this is definitely giving us that. She has the same type of articulation at the knees, obviously the hands and the wrists, and obviously into the shoulders. I I mean, it's giving us what we loved from Monster High before for like the collector uh, in all of us, you know, from the first wave, but also giving us a little bit, I can kind of see a little bit of the modern G3 in here, but not that much. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of a little blend of everything. I think it's totally worth it. I feel like if you're either a holiday collector or a Monster High collector, I feel like anybody who's a Monster High collector is going to want to get this because it's A, the first holiday doll. And then also how often do you see a goth holiday doll? Not that often, probably never. Have I ever seen one? I don't know. Send me DM me pictures if you have seen goth holiday dolls, because now that's going to be a thing that I'm going to need in my life. So let me know in the comments what you think of this doll. I really love it. I'm so glad to have it. I think it is just so beautiful and just like I said, her makeup is just everything. And if you want to watch more content from me, check out the links in the description below. I've got everything from Instagram, TikTok, obviously here on YouTube, and everywhere else that there's a social media page on. And like I said, I just hope you don't get overwhelmed with all of my Monster High content that will be coming out because there's so much Monster High coming out this season and expect reviews of all of it. <laughs> all right, until next time, let me know what you think of the new Winter Edition doll. I love her. Oh, I want to look like her. I'm going to try to see if I can get this outfit. Let's see what we can do. All right. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.